Hello, hello, hello. I am going to attempt to make some Rasta pasta today. So we have to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things. And yeah, I might make a little breakfast because it is kind of early and the hubby is still asleep. So I just may make breakfast, but I do have to go to the grocery store and pick up some bacon and um so i need to go and get ready to go to the grocery store so i will talk to y'all in just a few minutes all right so we are about to head to publix and get these items so we can head back it's still early in the morning so, I like to get to the grocery store before everybody else does because I hate a crowd. So, I really hope that it's not a whole bunch of people in here already because, like I said, it is 8 o'clock. So, hmm. but I'm excited to try these um, vegan pancakes. I got them yesterday. Um, I went to this vegan fest and um, it was just a lot of vegan vendors there so I got some vegan pancake mix so I'm gonna try that today and see how they taste actually it was really really fun I'm gonna um, I actually vlogged a little bit of it so I probably will go ahead and upload that video as well so y'all just stay tuned for that and see if I'm gonna upload that I don't know I might add that into this into this vlog but mm, I think I'm gonna I think it's gonna be another vlog so either way y'all just make sure y'all stay tuned so y'all can check it out because it was some really 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 dope uh, vendors there and I got a lot of things so yeah but we're almost at Publix so uh, once we get there I'll come back and we'll head in okay so y'all just sit tight all right so we are here and let me just put my mask on I'm so sick of wearing masks. But we got to stay safe. So, yeah. So, we about to hop out. Let me grab my, my list so I don't miss anything. And we are walking into Publix. And it's not a whole bunch of people here y'all so we can get in and get out all right so the first thing I need to get is I need to go down the Syria aisle let's see we got to get some heavy whipping cream some bell pepper some coconut milk some cilantro just a whole bunch of stuff honey so yeah that's what we about to do uh, I think I'm going to have a Caesar salad as well. So, we're going to grab a bag of that. Maybe some Caesar salad, some spinach. Ah. Alright, so, I'm going to have this, this honey ginger. I think I want to try this. Well, they got some for kids, so we don't get this one. And then I need to get some cilantro. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, I want to get some avocado, some guac. Hmm. I think I'm going to get some some of these. Yeah, I'm going to get these. I think it tastes good. Yep. So 
So that's what we got so far. Oh, let's see. Got to get some cilantro, so we're going to get a little bit of this and put it in a bag. Look at the bags. I don't even see them. Oh, here they are. y'all these these right here these cotton candy grapes they taste so good oh my god they taste so good so i'm not gonna get any today but just letting y'all know that they do taste good i'm talking about like their grapes are so pretty you know what i might have to get me some of these so because these are pretty. So we're going to get that. Alright. So. We're moving right along. Moving right along. So I need to get some. Um, I need to get some cereal. And I need to get a can of coconut milk. Alright. So let me see. I guess I get this one. So now we just headed to get some cereal. Let me get some cereal. Um. <laughs> Oh, okay, so Apple Jacks. So we're gonna get one of these, and one of these. <laughs> He's gonna be too mad, but that's what we're getting. So don't even supposed to be getting this stuff. We supposed to be actually getting stuff to make Rasta pasta with. <laughs> and I'm getting everything but. So right now I just need to get some penne pasta. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, my favorite cookie is these right here. These right here. Mm -hmm. I love them. Gotta have them. <laughs> Gotta have them. Every time I come in here, I have to get those. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all about this bacon that I'm about to get. If you don't eat this bacon right here, I tell you, I don't know what you're doing with your life because this is hands down the best bacon. Hopefully they have some, so let's just see. So this bacon, this bacon right here, rice bacon. If you're not eating this right here, I just don't know what you're doing with your life. It's expensive, but it's good. And I definitely got to get some butter because in the words of Deara and Ken, butter make it taste better, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. They don't have... Okay. This is it. Get that. Okay, guys. So we are done here in Publix. So I am about to check out and then we're going to head back to the house and get breakfast started. So y'all stay tuned. We'll just have a... We will just get off and Okay, so we done shopping. All we got to do now is get everything all bagged up and we'll be on our way. All right. Thank you so much. You too. All right, y'all. So we are getting ready to go. And 
We're gonna be making pasta. Pasta. All right, so we gotta get all of this loaded up. We're all loaded up. Let me take this buggy back over here and then we're going to be heading out. All right, so we made it back to the house and I've pretty much put everything up already. But I was looking at these pancake, this pancake mix I was telling y'all about that I had got from the um, Vegan Fest. And it looks like, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not so we might be changing the menu up just a little bit let me tell y'all why all right so these are the pancakes and they are gluten free right so i'm thinking that all i had to do was add water and that's it mm -mm, honey according to this this uh recipe it looks like i gotta add all of this oh. Oh. First of all, apple cider vinegar and vegan milk. Like, what the hell? So, so we may be making regular pancakes because I really, really, really wanted to try these. So maybe I should have got the original pancake mix because these are gluten-free. So that might be why I got to add all of this. And then it says, you know, to use the whole bag of that pancake mix and it'll make eight to ten pancakes. I don't need that many pancakes. I mean we it's just two of us. We don't need ten pancakes, so I don't know. Let's see. 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 She was the one that told me that these are good. Now, they may be good for her because she's already vegan, but I this, this just really has me baffled. I mean, it says two cups of vegan milk, a teaspoon and a half, no, a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I don't know, y'all. I, I really don't know about these, so. <laughs> I don't know, child. What you're doing is just doing some bacon, some eggs, and some grits. You know, the old Southern style way. So, yeah, that's probably what it's going to be because <sighs> I just got so upset about these pancakes because I really love pancakes. All right, so. I think, like I said, we're just going to make some uh, grits. So let me just wash my hands up real quick. Put <sighs> uh, 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 uh. a little water going here. So we're going to have some quick grits. Get some eggs and some bacon. And a little toast. And that's about it. Alright, so I've already gone ahead and take these eggs out. Let me turn this water on so that it can be boiling. So we're just waiting on the water to start boiling. But remember I was telling y'all about this bacon and um, 
in Publix. This bacon right here is so freaking good, y'all. I'm talking about like it's just it's just real good. I I ate it one time. I don't know where I had it at, but I had it somewhere. And ever since then, I just haven't wanted no other bacon. Like mm -mm. all that other bacon is just they just need to stop playing and just go on and get the right bacon. That's why they call it this, the right bacon, because it's the right bacon to get. You feel me what I'm saying? I'm just going to re up these eggs. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on so we can get this um, bacon started, since that's like the easiest thing. To get done so I'm just gonna go ahead on and throw that in the oven I don't like to cook my bacon in the uh, on the on the stove top I don't like cooking it like that I like mine to be in the oven I don't know why I guess because it's less messy I don't know but I do so we're just gonna get the pan and When y'all doing y'all bacon, make sure y'all have a, a drip pan so that all that grease can just drip down in the bottom. Because you don't want all of that just stuck on the bacon like that. Or you don't want your bacon just sitting in that um, in that grease like that. That ain't good for you. So, Well, bacon ain't good for you anyway. But usually I don't eat bacon. I don't even eat pork like that. But today, I needed a little fat in my life. So I wanted some rice bacon. So this is the pan that I cook my bacon in, and I'm just going to line the bottom of it with some foil. Even though I'm using the, drip, um, the little rack, I still don't want all the grease down in the bottom of my pan like this. So we're just going to line that, and then we're going to put the bacon on top. You see how thick that is? Just thick. So I'm at straight good. So yeah, we're just gonna put six pieces on here. So we'll have three pieces each. And I don't know, I'll probably do like a a, a scrambler. Like at uh, Crystals where they have the eggs, the grits, and the bacon or sausage in a little bowl. I'll probably do that. I don't know. We're going to see, but right now we're just going to lay this bacon out. So, well, we got three, four, five. So, we got one more slice. We're going to put that one this way. All right. And we're just going to wait for the oven preheat, and then I'll throw it in now. All right, so while we're waiting on the oven to preheat, to um, cook our bacon, I'm gonna show you this little trick to cleaning your your fruits or whatever like that. So we have these grapes that I got at Publix earlier. And what you need to do is just get you some apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And then you're gonna pour a little bit of that inside the water. You're gonna pour a little bit of that inside the water. So that it can um, get all of that wax and all of that stuff off of your um, off your fruit. So you don't pull that much in. And then for the grapes, I find that it kind of make it a little bit. Um, they seem like they pull out the sweetness in it. You know how like some people put salt on their plums or on their pickle or whatever. It's kind of like the same thing to me. But I don't eat pickles like that, and I don't eat a whole lot of salt. So, but I just hear a lot of people when they do do that, that they say, once you put salt and all of that on there, it seems like it, it tastes sweeter. I don't know. Kind of weird, but yeah. So this is what you do. So you're just going to pour a little bit of this in there. And then just sit your fruit down in there. And then you'll be able to see all of that wax and all of that build up or whatever they even spray on there and it makes them uh, last a little bit longer too so yeah you just let those sit in some cool water with the um apple cider vinegar and that's it 
Easy peasy. So the oven has already been preheated. It just buzzed to let me know. So we're just gonna throw those, that bacon in there. And you see that the water is boiling real good over here for our grits. So let me just grab a little bit of butter because like DK4L say, butter make it taste better, baby. All right, so you put a little butter up in there. I like to have me a little trash bowl so that um, everything will be laid out all over the counter and stuff like that. So I'm going to sit these eggs in the refrigerator. And you're going to have your water uh, on boil to like five or maybe four or five if your oven, if your stove has like numbers and stuff like that on it, if you're using an electric. But for gas, you know, you're going to have it like medium high, not too high. So you just want to have a good boil. And you just pouring it. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just pouring the grits in because I kind of can eyeball how many, how much we need. So yeah, while that's cooking, I'm gonna take care of these little, few little dishes that's sitting right here and I'll be back. bring y'all a little close all right so they're starting to get a little thick you want to just let them boil until most of the water is boiled out and then you know so they can cook and then you want to add some hot water to them you know just to loosen them up just a little bit don't add cold water just add a little bit of hot water and give them another little stir And then at this time, I like to add my seasonings and I use this right here. Usually I use the Better Than Bouillon uh, seasoning, but I'm going to use these cubes today because I don't have the actual one I normally use. And y'all hear those three? Hey, they are popping. Man, they popping. So... So we're just going to open this up and throw these cubes in. And let them cook some more. And I'll be back. We got the bacon going. So we're going to let that continue to cook. And then we got the grits here with a bouillon cube down in there so yeah He done woke up, y'all, and stealing damn grapes at the bowl. <laughs> hey, babes. <laughs> stealing grapes. So we're going to make some toast. 
as you saw, I had put the butter already in the pan. And it is already warming. So we're just going to throw the bread over in there. And you saw what kind of bread I was using. Um, Martin's potato bread. The best. The best. The best. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to let that brown on each side. And then we're going to throw a little apple jelly on there. A little apple jelly. It'll bring my charger. Is it now? In the, um, in the bean room. All right, so yeah, we're going to use a little bit of this right here when all of that get done. So, get these grits a little stir and turn them down because they pretty much done now. So, this is how you want your grits to look. You don't want them to be all soupy. They need to be good and thick, just like this. Thick. I think I'm going to cook on the other side. Well, the bacon is done. It's not like the timer. It's going off. So, I'm just going to flip it. Smack it, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. And let it cook a little bit more on the other side. Because I want this to be a little bit of crunchy. I was in uh, Publix. I was like, man, I got to have me some rice. Bacon. I ain't want no turkey bacon today. I ain't want no turkey sausage today. Look, I was going to make those pancakes. Yeah, it's asking for apple cider vinegar and uh, vegan milk. I don't even know what that is. So maybe I should have got the original mix.
So, everything is all done. We're just going to dab this bacon a little bit so that we can get the excess grease and oil and extra fat off of it. And then, you remember I was saying that I probably will do a, um, a breakfast bowl? Probably not. We're going to just eat this straight up. So, let me just get the plate. Right there. All right, so we're just gonna get two pieces of toast each. Gonna get us some grits. Stir them just a little bit more. And the eggs have cheese in them, so we're not going to put too much more cheese on here. Mm, that's a lot. But probably won't eat it all anyway. And then we're just going to lay those strips of bacon right there, just like that. And that's it. Oh, you know what? I am gonna put just a little bit of cheese. Just a little bit. A little bit of grits on top of that, so we can go ahead on and melt that cheese down. So we we'll layer that up. And that is that. And breakfast is ready. So we're about to go and eat and um, I may be back and we might spend the rest of the day together. I don't know, but I'm about to go eat right now. So I'll catch y'all in just a few minutes. So yeah, breakfast is all done and um, yeah.